Tonight on the News at 9, Joplin's Watered Gardens is making sure local homeless have a safe place to beat the heat. Plus, it may only be August, but Pittsburgh's Meadowbrook Mall is getting into the Christmas spirit and for a good cause. And they've got a lot of local partners. And Anderson's Missouri Banner Church of the Nazarene is making sure local kids are stocked up with school supplies and looking good for that first day of school. Meteorologist Nick Kelly has your weather, Andy Ciatecos on sports. I'm Mike Mahoney and this is your KOM News at 9 on Fox 14 and it starts right now. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. With heat indexes reaching triple digits, Joplin's Watered Gardens has seen an increase of people in need coming to their cooling center. KOEM's Caitlin Shive spoke with those using the center to learn how the heat is affecting them. Tina Ridenauer filled in Joplin. Caitlin Shive, KOEM News. Well, thank you, Caitlin. And speaking of summer weather, meteorologist Nick Kelly, what's going on? Well, I'm going to be thankful to have those places to stay cool today and hopefully they'll have them for tomorrow because we're having another. We'll break down that full forecast in just a bit, Mike. Yeah, I think I'm already missing that summer rain. Thank you, Nick. The Christmas spirit came a bit early to the Meadowbrook Mall in Pittsburgh today, all thanks to the Salvation Army. Their signature Christmas kettle stood in the middle of the mall, but these kettles came with a twist. Each one is sponsored and designed by a different Pittsburgh business or group. Organizations including Kansas Big Brothers and Big Sisters, Block 22, The Foundry, Pittsburgh Schools, Pittsburgh Police, and the Crawford County Sheriff's Office each paid a $100 entry fee to paint their own buckets. This is a new idea from the Salvation Army. They say it gets the community to think creatively while raising money for a good cause. It's just another way that we can work together. It's another way that they can um, assist us, you know, and we can do something that's fun and creative. And if you'd like to give the next time you hit the mall, you can find the Salvation Army kettles right across from J.C. Penney's. Backpacks, bikes, and haircuts galore were all part of the Banner Church of the Nazarene's Back to School Bash today in Anderson, Missouri. 300 backpacks filled with school supplies were given away for free. The kiddos also got to check out a selection of gently used clothing, grab a meal, and get their ears lowered. This year, the church received donations from Walmart and Meads to make the bash even bigger. This is the fourth year the Banner Church of the Nazarene has held this event. We had a kid came with barefoot this morning, and I said, where's your shoes? You can't come to church with no shoes, kind of teasing with him. He said, you know, my, my pair blew out. I don't have shoes. And I'm like, we got to get this kid a pair of shoes. So it's just meeting needs of people that in our area. The church estimates 600 to 800 people attended the event. An antique fund in Arizona leads to a discovery of a forgotten World War II hero and fills in the blanks of a Kansas family tree. KOM's Kate, Kate Kelly shares more on the unbreakable bond formed in the unlikeliest of places. When an Arizona man cast to honor the World War II hero. Thank you, Kate. And it's now time to pay tribute to one of our many four state heroes. Tonight, we recognize Charles Willis of Joplin, Missouri. Willis served as an aviation warfare specialist in the U.S. Navy, and he was stationed in Japan. He earned a war on terrorism and a national defense medals, as well as many other honors. Thank you, sir, for your courage and your service. For more information on all our four state heroes or to nominate your own, just log on to koamnewsnow.com. Well, right after this short break, we have got another look at your weather with Nick Kelly. And later in the show, we are looking at some wet, deadly weather that's happening in other countries, including India and Pakistan. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 